Easy. Okay, let's do a skill builder. All right, in the skill builder, we're going to change the color of the pen to red, and we're going to uh, identify our nouns. Now tell me, what are the abbreviations that we're going to be looking for when we're looking for nouns? Cody. Subject noun. Okay, one of them's going to be subject noun, and Kelsey, what's our other one? Object of the preposition. Object of the preposition. So let's go verify our noun. So it says subject noun bank. Is that a noun? Yes. 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 Circle the noun. Okay. All right, and then let's go to the object of the preposition. Saturday. Yes. 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 Circle the noun. Very good. Okay, and then let's go back and look at those nouns and let's decide if they're singular or plural. Bank, is that singular or plural? Singular. That is singular, so we'll put a red S above it. And is it common or proper? Common. It is common. All right, and looking at Saturday, is Saturday singular or plural? Singular. It is singular, and is it common or proper? Proper. It is proper. Why is it proper? Why would we say that Saturday is proper? Aaron? Okay, it's the, it's the name of a day in a week, and it is capitalized, and no, whether, no matter where we put it in the sentence, it would be capitalized because it names a specific person, place, or thing. Very good. Okay, now we want to identify the complete subject and the complete predicate by underlining the complete subject once and underlining the complete predicate twice. What is our complete subject? The town's new bank. The town's new bank is our complete subject. We underline that one time. What is our complete predicate? Close early on Saturday. That is our complete predicate, and so we would underline that two times. All right, now we need to identify our simple subject and simple predicate, and we'll do that by circling the simple subject and circling the simple predicate, and then we will say that together. What is our simple subject? Bank. Bank, okay, and then what is our simple predicate? Closed. Closed, and so both of those are now circled, and let's say the simple subject and simple predicate together. Bank closed. closed. Very good. All right, now we're going to do a vocabulary check. Are there any words in there that you might not know what they mean, Tyler? Bank. Bank. Can someone help us decide what the word bank means? Have you ever heard of a bank or have you been to the bank with your parents? What does bank mean, Ashton? A bank where you can go take your money and you can deposit or you can withdraw. Okay, so a bank is a place where you keep your money and then so a deposit would mean to? To put in. To put money in. And what does it mean to withdraw? And it means to take out your money, okay? Can somebody give me a sentence with the word bank? Sentence with the word bank? Jenna? I went to the bank to deposit my money. Okay, I went to the bank to deposit my money. Very good. That is a good sentence with the word bank. 